everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Naomi Amber and if you're new what's good what's poppin it's lit around here and if you're a returning subscriber you've been rocking with me I know I've been gone but your girl's back okay I'm gonna try my best to be consistent you know this whole video is about new year new me new habits that I want to share with you guys of course I cannot let go of my fashion roots so there's gonna be fashion in this video so I'm gonna start off with a Amazon workout favorites haul because this video is gonna be all about my workout journey my gym journey I guess you can say I don't really know what to call it I believe it's a great segue into the new year and I want to share with you guys what I've been working on so this video is gonna be my Amazon favorites workout edition so I'm gonna include a couple different things that I've gotten off of Amazon that have helped me on my my workout journey and I think like one of the top top things and we'll get into that a little bit later is when you look good you gonna feel good so we're gonna start off with the clothes obviously like girly girly things but afterwards I do want to talk about why I started working out my routine and you know what has been helping me in the gym and then also some things that I have learned I think that's just like a nice little addition to like my normal clothing hauls and you guys can get to know me just a little bit better but you know we gotta get into the clothes so let me stop chatting and let's get into the haul if you want to stick around to the end to hear more about my workout journey and my transformations and all that good stuff stick around to the end but we're gonna start off with the clothes what i really like about amazon is that they have sets of clothes so you get like sets of shorts and sets of shirts and sets of leggings so i really like that about amazon and it gives me the most bang for my buck honestly especially if i really like the brand i'm like oh yeah I'll give me this set of two i'll take two that's something i prioritized in the beginning of my workout journey to invest in getting myself a good set of workout clothes because I didn't want that to also be an excuse of why I don't go. So I made sure I was like, okay, you're going to get yourself at least seven good cute fits. So that way you don't have no excuse to get into the gym, okay? With all that being said, some of these things will look the same. But they'll just be in different colors. And of course, I'll model all of them on the side. But first, we just have these green shorts. Now, since it's winter time, I don't like to wear shorts as much. I have invested in more leggings. But I do love these shorts and none the less. And I do have the butt scrunch. Now, right now, I'm working on my gains in the gym. So I feel like this is just... It just... It gives the butt a little lift. I feel like these shorts are just very flattering and they make your butt look really, really good. And that's what I'm working on in the gym right now. They also have this cute, like, green, darker green, like, line that goes, like, right under your butt. It's very flattering. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys all these in the try-on portion so you guys will see them on the side. This is a gray pair of shorts. They're a little bit longer than the green ones I just showed you guys. Um, so they're kind of, like, a little bit biker. The other ones are a little bit shorter. But, you know, they do the same, like, butt scrunch butt scrunch thing in the back super super cute i really do enjoy these hello guys it is winter time now so i have prioritized and invested in getting some more leggings so that way i can go to the gym and not be freezing to death um and it's just these black leggings all my sizing and the links will be in the description below so check that out so you guys can get um a good reference for size but these are the black leggings on the back they do the same butt scrunch thing as you guys can see there's a little bit of a theme here but i do think that the butt scrunch leggings like they look better and when you're working out they feel a little bit better too because i feel like it's just giving your waist like in that whole area just a better snug as opposed to like the leggings that don't have it i feel like they slip off a little bit more but that's just me personally i don't know right now they look like super small but i promise you they have a great amount of stretch to them so no need to worry about that also since i'm not like the most comfortable in the gym like i feel like i don't want to wear hot pink to the gym i'm sorry like i just feel like that just will draw too much attention to me and maybe when I feel a little bit more confident in the gym, and this is just me being honest, I will probably wear like pink and blues and bright greens and stuff like that. But right now, I'm going to show y'all another pair of black leggings, okay? <laughs> so here are these black leggings. I really love this brand, this Sunzel brand or whatever. Oh my god, these leggings look so good. So good. Now the butt scrunch on this is just a little bit different. Like it kind of does like this thong thing in the back okay i know at first i was a little hesitant to wear like the butt scrunch leggings but they really do look nice like don't be turned off by the butt scrunch i'm telling you it's gonna make your body look good very similar to the last leggings it's just the butt scrunch is a little bit different and kind of has like more of like a pulling effect right here near the butt crack area but 
Hey. And next we have these leggings and I think this is the same brand as the shorts but this is just the legging version and I got them in gray. I think gray makes the butt look. I feel like gray looks really good for the butt. Like I feel like gray makes the butt pop. So as you guys can see there's a little bit of a pattern here but I like 10 out of 10 recommend all these um, items that I'm showing you guys like this is the best quality workout stuff that I found on Amazon and I've tried a lot because I've, I've tried them and I've returned them to get the to go back to these brands that I actually really do like so this brand I think is QQQ on Amazon or something like that but I have like a jillion of these okay maybe not a jillion maybe like four um long sleeve um crop tops these are so nice to work in, especially during the winter time. Like, obviously during the summer, I'll wear like a crop top with, um, or I'll wear like a sports bra or something, or something that's um, sleeveless. But for the winter time, these are so perfect. Like, these are so nice, just even like regular, regular. Like, I would wear these outside. I would wear these to the club. The quality is so nice. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is ribbed. I know it's white, so it's kind of throwing off the lighting a little bit, but I have it in white. I also have it in black. I think I have multiple black ones because I do like wearing black in the gym. Like, I like wearing black, so I have a lot of black workout clothes because I like wearing black. I also have it in, like, this off-white cream kind of color. I think this is cream. Yeah, this is the off-white cream color, and it also does have the armholes. Now, I don't like the armholes that much because I also, like, sanitize between, like, every little machine that I use, so I normally don't put these on my hand because I like to sanitize um, the machines, and I feel like the dirt just gets on the armholes, and I don't know. That's a sanitary thing. That's a whole different video, but... <laughs> and then I also have um, the same shirt and like this. So it's not... It's kind of like a bluish gray. I really, 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 really like the quality of those shirts. Like I said, I would wear those on a normal, regular, regular day. Okay, they're really, really comfortable. The quality is amazing. Let's keep going. We have the green shorts. These are very similar to the gray ones I showed you guys earlier. This is the same length as the gray ones that I showed you guys. And again, same butt scrunch. I'm sure this is all from the same brand, which is why they all have like that similar design in the back. And this is the last clothing item that I want to show you guys. As you can see, they're a little bit shorter than the green ones I just showed you guys. Let me show. Let me do a side by side so you guys can see like this one is a little bit shorter. So this one is like a little bit shorter than the green one. Um, but this is the black version and again same butt scrunch in the back like ain't no difference here This is the pad that goes on the workout bars and it isn't pink. Oh my god super cute I love this also contradicts something I said earlier, but I feel like the gym is very like grr, Man 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 man. Oh, it's so manly So I love like coming in and girlifying things It doesn't draw too much attention because obviously like I'm a girl like if you see me with something pink It's not that shocking, but I just like using it and I just feel like it's just just adds like a little really touch to the gym because it can get real manly in there real quick it also comes with a resistance band i don't like these resistant bands i don't think that they're very beginner friendly so i would recommend like the other resistant bands that are that have less resistance last but not least from the set is also these ankle straps they go around your ankle to do like the kickbacks on the machine and i also have these super super cute i have these pink barbell clips and i'll insert a picture on the side because they're in my workout bag in my car but initially they were more of like a functionality thing like the workout clips that come in the gym are like these metal ones and they were really hard for me to close with my nails but they're also cute and pink. The next thing I want to show you guys is my Brita water filter water bottle. So this filters your water, um, like any water that you put in here through the straw. So there's like a filter in the straw. I like this because it's a better alternative to what I was using before, which was regular water bottles. And I was tired of, you know, having to go buy water bottles from the store. And I was just like, you know, let me just get a water bottle that has a filter so all my water can be filtered out. And I really like it. And then last thing, which is super crucial for my workout journey and what I want to see in the gym and the results that I want to see is protein. This is tried and true to my workout journey since I'm trying to gain and that's the results that I'm looking for and we're gonna get into that in a little bit but this is my favorite protein. This is the Vega vanilla protein and this is plant-based protein. I know that a lot of people do drink the whey protein. I just don't like the taste of milk. Like, I enjoy the taste of this. Like, I know a lot of people don't like the graininess of, like, protein in general. But I have 
nailed my protein shake routine down to a science and follow me on my tiktok because i will do a smoothie recipe on my tiktok page very very soon but that concludes the haul now i want to get into a little bit more about my actual workout journey so why did i start working out you know it's honesty hour honesty time i have insecurities with my body <gasps> don't be shocked you're shocked that is so shock like, like anybody we all have insecurities and i had insecurities about my body and i wanted to change them this is not my first go around working out in the gym it's not my first workout journey like i've done this before so it was a little bit easier for me to like jump start it restart it kick it off again i am a firm believer and the gym has been teaching me this that like you have to be the change that you want to see like that is so cliche but people will really truly only change for themselves you really are the only person that can change for you you shouldn't let other outside factors change you you should want to change for yourself and that's one of the main reasons why i wanted to start working out there's just things that i want to change that I know I have to be the one to make the changes for so I've been like on and off consistent since May um, and I'll show you guys like my transformation from May to August and then I'll show you guys my transformation from November to now because that's that's the times that I've been consistent but um, I can say I really do enjoy like going to the gym now some days it is a little bit harder to get up and go to the gym 90 percent of the battle is getting there once you're there you're like all right let me just do it and when i actually get it done and how i feel afterwards and all the endorphins and the serotonin and all the things come to my body and i feel great that's what i really look forward to when working out but another reason why i started working out cute workout clothes hello like i just i'm just a sucker for cute clothes so that's another incentive for me to work out you know and last but not least something that has come out of working out is uh, making new friends in the gym as you get older and like you're not in settings where you're forced to be around people in your age group you're like you're not around your age mates anymore you have to like really put yourself out there to meet new people and a variety of ways of doing that is just finding new hobbies going to the gym and just go to a place frequently and interact with the people there now i am introverted but i have just like met people in the gym just because i regularly go and we see each other all the time we go at the same times and it's nice to build relationships in a place where there is a common interest i feel like in college or like even just growing up in general the people that you see every day on a consistent basis you end up growing closer to them and nothing changes when you're an adult like if you go to a place very often and frequently like you're gonna build connections and you're gonna build relationships so that's why i started working out now, if you are looking to start your workout journey i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my routine and how i think my routine works for me my routine is i go to the gym two times a week i'm not gonna be in there seven days a week <laughs> I have other things to do I have a life but I just feel like the I can make that commitment to myself to go at least two days a week it's only an hour out of my day I think that is what has worked for me and if I do get to the gym three days a week great with any routine that you have make sure it is malleable like make sure you can bend the rules a little bit There are gonna be days where you don't want to do something or where you don't want to do things and uh, you need to uh, be able to not beat yourself up about it which is why i think two days a week was a very realistic and sustainable goal for me like your goals have to be sustainable and your routine has to be sustainable but in the same breath you also need to be able to like be able to bend them a little bit and if you bend them it's not going to be detrimental to your progress it's not going to be detrimental to you not actually reaching your goals celebrate accomplishing like and achieving everything in your goals or everything in your routine in a week um and all the little to do's that you have to check off i say celebrate those extra hard especially on the days where you don't get to do the things that you said that you're going to do or the days that you don't do everything in your routine or the days that you don't work towards hitting your goals so that way you don't really feel bad about it and you don't really beat yourself up about it but i try to stick to my routine i've been doing my little two days um and then another thing that i think has really helped me are workout guides when i first like got back into the gym i was like dang 
I don't know how any of these machines work. I don't even know what I really need to be doing. So I did get a workout guide. I got it from Monique. Most fit on Instagram. She does have a YouTube channel. That's how I found her. And she had like this flat to fat guide. I really enjoyed her guide. I don't use it as much anymore because now I know like the actual workouts that are in there. So I'll just go back to reference it if I'm trying to get like new workouts or some inspiration. But I really enjoy her guide. She also has video demonstrations. Like I really, really enjoy her workout guide and her brand in general. I think like it also helped to not feel so alone when working out because I feel like sometimes when you just go in a little bit blind you feel a little lost so I liked that I had her guide and I was like okay great I have her guide this sounds like an advertisement but it's not and I can use this guide and I don't feel so alone and feel so lost because when you're going to a new space like that everything is foreign like you gotta literally learn a whole new language and literally learn how to use your body in different ways so it's really nice to have like a guide and that brings me to another point know your goals going into the gym know what you're gonna do when you go in there so i think like workout guides help and tiktok is your best friend like there's plenty everybody's setting up their tripod in the gym you're bound to find a nice little workout routine on tiktok for free for the free 99 and they'll show you how to do things show you how to work on your form all this stuff like there's plenty like the resources are endless on TikTok. So TikTok is your best friend and it helps you know what you're doing before you go into the gym so that way you don't look too lost. Yeah, I would say like definitely know your goals. Like know what you actually want to get out of working out. Are you just working out to be healthy? Are you working out to see some results, lose weight, gain weight? Whatever the case may be, you know your goal and keep that goal in mind so that way you're not just blindly doing something. <laughs> Even though I just said TikTok is your best friend, I also think like you should do your due diligence and also research things. Like, do not go on Nutrition by Natasha TikTok and think that her like if, if she's not like a certified nutritionist, do not take her word as Bible. Do not like take her stuff with a grain of salt. Like I definitely say, do a lot of research on your own from like uh, trusted, certified personal trainers. Like not people that got their certification off of Instagram. Like people that actually like know what they're talking about and actually like study this stuff yeah workouts by wanda might not be giving you all the tea you need to know so do your due diligence do your research like with anything that you start with anything that you invest in you should do your research even my words you shouldn't take as bible like even my tips like just take take what resonates with you and do with that what you will like, don't even harp on my words if they don't feel true to you like i definitely be true to yourself if you do want to make this change and go on a workout journey or a gym journey whatever you want to call it do what's right for you do what feels right to you this is another thing that i have learned and that i've also like taken away from working out is that it's easier said than done but you really should not be caring about what other people think in the gym you could really be in your head a lot about like oh my god this person is like watching me mess up or this person is watching me struggle the fear of looking stupid is holding you back like what SZA said like that fear you need to let go of it like everything that you want like will smith said is on the opposite side of fear everyone in that gym has started from somewhere so you need to let go of that and you need to be thinking about that too like okay everyone has to start somewhere and that's with anything in life so you need to let go of thinking about what other people think of you or what they may be thinking of you because i guarantee you 10 times out of 10 that person is just worried about what they about to eat tonight like they are not worried about the workout that you're doing but nevertheless that's my last little tidbit of advice but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit different from my normal videos i'm really excited to see like where my workout journey takes me i probably won't share too much of it um on my youtube channel unless you guys want me to um i'll probably share more on my tiktok um, and if you do plan on working out you know new year new me vibes because there's nothing wrong with that in fact i know a lot of people like to rag on people that go to the gym at the beginning of the new year but i personally like to see new characters in my gym i hate being a reoccurring guest star i hate it i hate it we need some new cast members to go into the gym we need some i just love it i love it just remember that it is a commitment to yourself and you need to be the change that you want to see so with that being said don't forget to follow me on my socials and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye